So how can I be kind to myself while seeking progress in my goals? I've noticed the reason why I never get the things done are I'm incredibly harsh on myself when I fail, and I am a perfectionist. Not Now that i found those issues, I'm going to adopt a mindset of progress over perfection while still trying my, be my best to being as kind to myself as possible. How can I go about doing this? I want to make progress on my goals fast while getting the job done good enough and not be perfect. I also don't want to put a lot of pressure on myself and treat myself and others with as much compassion and empathy as possible so I don't take make my mental health worse and I don't lose track of my goals. How can I be kind to myself while making progress on my goals? So this is a great question that is a sneaky, sneaky question. Because what this person is trying to do is be perfect. See, this is perfection. This is being perfectionistic. This is, per this is perfection. You see this? This is perfection. Person is still chasing perfection. You're going to wind up exactly where you started. You all see that? Oh, yeah, I'm not doing a good job. I need to be less perfectionistic and more self-compassionate. Let me be more perfect by being less perfect and more self-compassionate. See that? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Because they're saying, oh, I'm going to be like, achieve my goals fast with self-compassion. That's so OP. Let's go for OP. Why would we want to achieve our goals slow? Let's achieve them fast with self-compassion and forgive ourselves when we don't achieve it fast enough. But we still want to do it fast. Is that, is that, you guys get that? Same thing, same thing. So what I would ask this person is, why can't you achieve your goals slow? And then when I ask that question, it's gonna come out, oh my God, I can't do that, man. Like I need to do it fast, time is running out. Everyone else is doing it fast, oh my God. Do it slow and be careful because your mind will be like, is there a perfect level of slow? How do I do it slow perfectly? It's like, it's a never ending cycle because this is how the mind works. Your solution is coming from a perfectionistic mindset. You're like, how do I be more perfect? What's the perfect amount of imperfection? How do I get that? Let's find the perfect amount of imperfection. So this is where like, you know, I, I know it's kind of weird. Now that I have found the issues, I'm going to adopt a mindset of progress over perfection because that's the perfect mindset. Progress over perfection. That's the perfection I need to chase. It's tricky, right? It's tricky. It's a great question. And it's, it's one that so many people have because like, I, I'm not trying to make this person feel stupid. I, I really hope I'm not, but it occurs to me that maybe I am. I'm, I'm happy because like, it's such a beautiful question and this is what people struggle with because the solutions that your mind generates are coming out of the same AI that's causing the problem. And so it's tricky. So then the, the person is like, wait, but what do, I, what do I do? What direction do I move in? How do I move towards it? And it's like, you don't. So if you want to shatter this completely, take a Zen approach. You guys want a mindfulness approach? You want a Zen approach? Don't progress. But then what? Exactly. But then what? Answer that question. That's the Zen approach. The Zen approach is like taking a gigantic mallet to your cognitive thought process and shattering it. That's the Zen approach. It's tough. It's like requires a lot of, you know, fortitude. Let me see if I can come up with something. Okay. Ah, <laughs> okay, chat, here it is. Okay. So how can I be kind to myself while making progress on my goals? The real question can be, how can I be kind to myself while not making progress on my goals? You see this? This is a devastating question. You guys, can y'all tell what is in the mind of that person? It's relentless, man. Relentless, right? Like, be kind to yourself whether you progress or not. Kindness isn't tied to progression. Kindness is only tied to progression when you're shooting for perfectionism. I know it's tough. It's going to be really tough. 
Do you deserve kindness if you don't progress? That's the question you should ask yourself. And the answer is going to be probably in your head, no. So that's tough, right? So as long as, like, if you don't deserve kindness, if you don't make progress, then, like, I can't, so then, I mean, that's the issue we've got to work on, right? I'm not saying practically, like, just, just suffer. So we talk a lot about self-forgiveness and self-compassion, but I want you guys to notice that, like, I'm not going to play the game that the question sets up because the game is rigged. The real question is, why can't you be kind to your... Why do you need to only be kind to yourself, like, and progress? Like, why can't you accept that it's okay to, like, not progress? I'm not saying don't progress. What I'm saying is accept yourself if you make a mistake. Be kind to yourself if it doesn't work out. And keep trying. I'm not saying don't try. I'm not saying give up, right? Subtle, careful. But you deserve your kindness either way. You deserve your compassion either way, right? Like, when I kind of think about myself at 21 years old, like, I'm a bumbling idiot, right? Just because I'm a bumbling idiot doesn't mean that, like, I don't deserve a pat on the back and, like, a good try and, like, let's get up and try again, right? That's what coaching is about. There's a reason we call them coaches. Like, they're not, you know, teachers and they're not therapists, but they're like your coach. So it's like, it's like the person that when you, you know get knocked down or when you're knocking yourself down they give you like a pat on the back and they're like hey why don't you get up and try again when you're ready and i'm gonna be here for you and like how can we understand like and they're gonna point out some things in your thought process like this they'll make observations they'll help you understand why are you feeling this way like what's going on but the goal of coaching is not to treat a clinical diagnosis it's to get you back into the field at halftime when you're down by 20 points and like Give it your best. 